what you see here is a regular WordPress. Um, it's my, my actual, not my site where I release my stuff. And uh, of course, H5P is installed here. And if I go to H5P Connet, it will look that way. So you will see, um, yeah, all the, the contents that I've created here. And uh, yeah, some, some metadata. So who, who was the author, of course, this is my site only. So you only see me. Uh, you can see what content type it is. And um, yeah, if I had added tags, you would see tags. When I modified that last time, the ID. And he, here I could have a look at the results if there were any for that um, that content. And I can, of course, if I click on edit, I can can edit that, that content. So basically this is my information wall content type I use to display the latest version of um, my contents. So this is uh, the way it normally looks. So as you can see here, up here it has this third option, which is a little limited. So let's say I wanted to have all the QR code content types, for example, I would imagine I would type QR um, and that would filter out or it would show me all the QR content types. But unfortunately, uh, this field only checks um, the title. So um, yeah, if I was looking for a test, it would show me the, t the test contents, but that's all I can look for, the title. Um, yeah, I've created something else for a customer of mine. Um, I am allowed to say the name. It's in, in German, it's uh, AAP, AAP. It's a, um, a group of, of publishers. And uh, yeah, I've been working for them and I've created this. So now this, this is WordPress. But if I here go to H5P content, you will see this is vastly different. So um, and, and it might be a little confusing if you don't know what it is. So um, basically this is the same. So on my other side, this is the regular view and this is um, what we have now. And you can see there are lots of other options. So first of all, um, Let's start with a search field, not maybe well the columns. So you see, um, we had the title, but there are all there are more columns that you, you don't have in a normal version. Like interaction type, we have export type, something extra. We have achievement levels, author, editor, producer. So extra metadata, you could say. Um, so you can, we'll we'll see. Second, we can all add those. Um, um, yeah, this is just some demo content, of course. And here, I, it, it, the search field would actually work on all the fields. So let's say if I wanted to only see, see all the dictation contents, I mean, it's just two here, I can see it right away. But if I typed in dictation, it will filter, um, give you everything that has dictation in it. Could be the title, could be whatever. Um, or just, you know, what else could we uh, look for? Oh yeah, something is German, so let's GS, which is short for German Grundschule. Um, I could filter for that um, alternatively or additionally, I could filter uh, using these fields here. So maybe you could do that. Let's see if there is something to filter for. So if I first filter for dictation, for example, and then I wanted to, where's the difference? Uh, let's say that we now have 100 contents dictation contents and now I want everything from publisher one only so you can gradually filter your, your things and, and find things um, yeah that's what we can do here so this is like searching and filtering which is um, if you have tons of contents that is pretty useful on WordPress uh, yeah you, you could if you, if you had more entries and you wanted to see more you can you can choose how many you want to see um, yeah I only have three so nothing will happen or maybe you can really remove that for now um, yeah and if that is confusing for you so maybe let's say um, you are th there can be many roles and maybe you don't need all the columns so you could decide okay I don't need to know what school type this is for or what subject that is or what grade level in, in German terms by the way this is and you can just hide those and with this um, setting will be saved so when you return later on um, you won't have to do that again and again. This will automatically be saved. Um, yeah, but let's add all for now because maybe we want to have a look at this. Um, what else could we do? So we could add a content. We'll add that in a second. First thing I add, we, we can also do, we can delete right away. So if we want to delete content in the normal version, um, you would go you have to go to edit here and then you could delete it here. So two steps. Um, yeah, this was t too tedious for my customers. They said, can we do, uh, have a delete button or option here? Yep, we have. I won't click it now because I don't want to delete content. Um, yeah, and what else could we do? Uh, oh yeah, we could, of course, this is something that is 
dearly missing an hrefp i guess i have read the request for that many times so if you want to export content um there's no good way you could go to the file system and export everything i'm not sure if the hrefp files are in the regular wordpress export i doubt that so let's say for some reason we wanted to export um these two contents and we would check them and uh, we could click on export and now we would be able to download um a zip file let's do that so i download that i now have it on my, de my desktop and that zip file will contain these h5p files and you could um, share those and upload them somewhere else if you wanted to for example so that is an extra option um but that is not all so <laughs> uh, you see all these extra metadata of course they have to to come from somewhere um and we can see them here so if i here want to add new content so this is the same here. So um, this is the HFE content hub where I can choose my uh, the content that I want to create. Let's go for essay maybe. And uh, let's call that essay two or whatever. We have, we need something here. Let's say write something. And um, yeah, let's, let's say this is not scored then we don't need any, um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Too many options. I have added too many options. Ignore scoring. There it is. So let's ignore scoring. And then it's just like a an, an, an typing exercise where, you, where the teacher maybe wants to um, see what the student typed. Um, if you've been watching closely, on the right-hand side, we have a couple of more things compared to um, normal HIV content. Let's switch back to the normal first. So um, this is a normal one. You can see you have the display options, the normal WordPress tags that you could add. But that's it. And over here, um, you still have all the other options, but they're uh, collapsed by default. And then you have some status for the H5P content because the publisher needed that to say, okay, this is a draft and this is in revision, it's published, it's in typesetting. Um, it's just a status which is used somewhere else to filter out uh, things. And yeah, then we have all these extra metadata. It's of course very specific to publishers, but in theory, it could be anything. So um, we don't have to fill them, by the way. So like an order number for, or uh, if you, you can actually order that content or buy that content. It has to be, of course, it's in, a, in an official system with an ID. Um, might be something ISBN related. I'm not completely sure. Um, nah, probably not. So it could, could have a couple of IDs, so some different titles, um, the visible title with the title is visible in the shop, for example, um, some internal administrative title, and um, you, you can classify it. And don't don't be afraid. This is German because this is not from the um, changes that I did. It's actually this list is pulled from some other system, which is in German only. So um, yeah, let's say let's say Grundschule, which is elementary school, and uh, we have um, yeah, depending on your first choice. So if you choose choose. Grundschule, then you have um, these options, like say, this is it for English, and you could even add more. Let's say this is for grammar, if you wanted to. And maybe let's say, um, for some reason, this could also be used in the high school, which you could call Gymnasium in German. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a gym, so <laughs> but yeah. Um, and that's it. Then we have, uh, in Germany, we have basically 12 or 13 grades where you could be on, so these are the grade levels let's say this is for uh grade level I don't know, three to eleven for whatever reason and uh, they want to have like some achievement level which is very very um it, it's not bloom six only or something like that but it's very simple it's reproduction transfer problem solving so let's say this is a hard one you could um, add an author because um that author that created the content it might be um bought from somewhere else from a person who's not uh, on that platform, so you have to, to enter the name. Yeah, and then from that platform, wh whoever is um, on that platform, you can say the editor, the person who can edit the content is, I don't know, e-teacher <laughs> in this case. Uh, the, you could have a different producer. Uh, you could choose from different publishers. I renamed those, but this would be the uh, publishers from the AIP group. And you can also choose a web cover. You didn't see that in the, um, yeah, let's go for the bird. You didn't see that for um, 
in the previous screen on the overview, but this would be what actually would, would show up in the shop. And um, yeah, uh, we could save that now and it would be saved. And um, here's my content, I created it. And if I now go back to my, my overview, you will see it here. Here's my SA2 content. Of course, I didn't type in all the, the fields, so those are missing. Um, yeah, but that's it. So, what do, okay, this is interesting, but uh, what's the image used for, for example, it's in that shop. So actually what you don't see, and I cannot really show, it's there's an interface um, that that shop can call and we'll get all the contents and uh, changes. So that has been added. Um, there is, yeah, oh, I mentioned this setting, I think. There is some, oh yeah, there's this extra setting. This is basically based on this um, Grundschule and all the, the categories that you could choose. And um, actually, um, they, they need some extra way to tweak it and you could add some extra filters here and NTX is a software that is used uh, that provides those categories which is like a normal publisher software um, yeah so you can do that and uh, so all kinds of stuff and um, oh I want to go here so the most interesting thing is um, I didn't touch the original code of uh, H5P so um, just for proof um, we could go to have a look here. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. So um, here, this is um, this is the I don't know the, the management tool you could say that uh, I created. And up here, the, the upper one, the uh, previous sibling uh, is actually the original HFP. So this is just hidden. And if I display that, you will see. Okay, this is how it looks normally. So. Um, I didn't even touch the original code of H5P of the H5P WordPress plugin, so it's just an extra plugin, um, but you get all the extra features without touching the code, so you can upgrade the H5P plugin without any any hassle. Um, yeah, and yeah, but but you don't see that, so um, it's just hidden, but it's still there. Um, yeah, why I'm showing this, I I told you. Um, um, you will not get this because this. Um, was for the customer he allowed or they allowed me to to show it and that's fine but um, this is just to, to be meant as some inspiration maybe so if you i know H coding for h5p is hard maybe because there are not too many developers and documentation is not that well but um, there are tons of wordpress developers so if you have some extra features that you want to add. You don't have to wait for the HRP core team or me or some other HRP developer who, to find time. Just go to any WordPress developer. He or she may have to, they will have to familiarize with HRP, of course, but it, it can be done. So it's just an extra plugin. You don't have to change the original code and you can can create something like this. So yeah, this is, this is basically why I wanted to show this. So, uh, well, first of all, I don't do HRP stuff, content types, but also this kind of customization, but you can do it. It's it's doable. So find your WordPress developer and uh, let him, or maybe maybe you can, you know WordPress, code, find out the things about HRP and then create something nice. That would be cool.